All right, so we made it back from Hot Rod Power Tour with zero issues with the Comet or the Mustang. As you saw, while on Hot Rod Power Tour, we changed out the front suspension on the Mustang for some QA1 coilovers. While we were doing that, we went with the 350 weight springs. So when I lowered the Mustang down, we had a lot of adjustability with those 350 weight springs. And on the Comet, we actually installed 450 weight springs. Our good friends over at QA1 were nice enough to send over some 350 weight springs for the Comet so we can get that front end settled down and right where we want it in terms of stance. So in today's video, we are going to be installing those 350 weight springs and setting our ride height to where we want it. All right, so dad was already nice enough to jack the car up and put it on stands, take the wheels off, and we're all set to start disassembling the uh, whole assembly here in order to get those springs off. So we've already loosened off the top uh, bolt and nut. We're gonna jack up the lower control arm, which is gonna be taking resistance off of this bolt, take the bolt out, which will allow the whole assembly now to drop down. We will have to take the coil spring cover off and then we'll disassemble these two bolts here and then that whole assembly will slide out change the springs put it back in nice and simple all right so we got the shock tower cover off and we got the coil over off this is the old 450 weight spring and this is the new 350 weight spring so we're gonna go ahead and install the 350 weight spring and then do the same on the other side. Pretty simple. All right, so we got the coil overall installed with the 350 weight springs. Everything's torqued. Now we're just gonna put our shock tower cover on and this side will be done. Uh, it's still set to the lowest position in terms of its threads. So I would assume we're probably gonna be somewhere about halfway, maybe a little bit on the lower side. Um, but that's where it was with the 450 weight springs and we had no um, adjustment in terms of downwards, which is why we went with the 350 weight spring so we can lower the car. Mike, leave one bolt in because it's gonna drop on my head. There, fair enough. Top front. And you don't have to missing, worry about paint. You're missing one on the other side. That's, eh? that's cool, that's fine. Painted car people would never understand. They'll never understand. It sucks for them. Finally gonna sit nice. No thanks at the alley. Gonna have to cut some fenders and some Roll some lips. See you later, 450 weight. All right, so now that both sides are done, we're gonna go ahead, throw the wheels back on and bring out the adjusting wrenches for the coilovers. I didn't realize this. <laughs> until Andrew pointed it out on Hot Rod Power Tour, but this one here is for the upper um, adjusting nut, and then this one's for your locking nut. So there is a difference between the two. Didn't realize that, I was getting all frustrated. Plus we were also rushing to get out uh, for the end of the day, uh, but there is a difference, <laughs> so. And it was 140 degrees and, in the sun. Yeah, and it was stupid hot, so. Uh, and we're hungry. Yeah, we were starving, <laughs> so, so yeah, now we're just gonna Lower the car down onto the wheels. I've already raised this one up a touch. It, we haven't lowered it at all yet, so we don't even know what it looks like or what it's going to look oh, like. It's gonna look good. But yes, it's going to look. It's going to look really good. So uh, apparently we put the 1,050 weight springs on, and it's uh, sitting like a 4x4 now. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Dad's just jacking her up, getting that last jack stand out. 
And then we're gonna lower it down. See where she's at. Here we go. You know, put some weight on her. Oh, felt like it dropped three inches. Well, it's definitely lower. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, it's a lot better. We gotta bring it into the sunshine. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright. Let's roll her out. I'm digging it. Yeah. Oh, definitely lower. Oh my God, does that ever look nice? Still need some more meat on that back tire. gonna settle on its own. Mike's trying to help though. All right, so we got the car down and it hit the fenders. <laughs> so uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna massage the fenders just a little bit. Just a, just a little in order for that to clear. Okay, so we got our hammer here, and we're just going to lightly tap all the way around. I think I marked from here to about here. That's the contact point of the tire. So we're just going to lightly tap it. Just like so, all the way around until we got our clearance. Just lightly tap it, guys. Just a couple light taps. Until you get your room, then you, you should be good. Don't be afraid to give it a couple extra ones, just in case. Yep, that should do. Oh, a couple more. Basically a boss screw too. Just that. Just a couple. Just a little massage. <laughs> just minor adjustments. Just minor adjustments, guys. We'll be with you in just a minute. I think we're good. So the next issue we ran into is obviously the wheel wall trim and because it's got a flat contour that used to screw to the fender, we had to do some trimming and some more hammering in order to make this work. So we're gonna set our lines where it's going to get cut. You want some screws to hold it in there? Oh, we should be good. Done with the hammering? I, I think so. Unless you want to take a couple swings. Nope. No. I've done my workout for the day. A workout. So you can see the trim line, which is the green line that we're going to cut. Trim that off. And then hammer these flanges so that they go back to the fender. And I can still utilize those holes to keep that trim in place. Oh, no going back now. Should I, uh, should I tell them they're there? Or? He's looking for something. 
<laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Every time. Oh, those are bloopers. Should make a you know, funny clip. Now we'll clean it up with the grinder. Give it the old press, jump on the bumper, stand on the hood. Oh, oh. Like riding a horse! <laughs> All right, let's turn those wheels. Turn that wheel for me, sir. Oh my God, look how much room we have. I think, I think we can go lower. Park your truck. Oh my God, oh, oh my God. Tons of room. Okay, other side. Good. Tons, tons, we can go another inch. There you go. We can go another inch. Casey, can you send us some 300 weight springs? <laughs> can you send us some 300 weight springs? We're trying to lower it a little more. <laughs> All right, let's put this headlight bucket. This headlight was literally falling out. What's up? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh my God. Gorgeous. You can only get the 255s in the rear. Oh, that's a waste of time. Recorded for the last 10 minutes without the button being on. Anyway, <laughs> this is part two. Uh, we part had a part one. A part one. Uh, we went back home because we forgot to tighten or torque the wheels down. Thank God Mike remembered. So we originally had done that when we put the wheels back on after changing the springs, but then Mike rolled the lips back. We took the wheels off, forgot to tighten it back on with the torque wrench. Anyway, that's all done. As we were saying, I think the comment looks a lot better now.
about 40 feet to get around that truck. <laughs> Views, good views up here. I mean, I think you're in the Carolinas. Until November hits. Then you'll know real quickly where you are. Scraping the frost off the, the windshield. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Old Car Channel. We successfully installed the 350 weight springs and lowered the car. Here's a little before and after shot so you can see how much lower the car sits and how much better the stance is. Just a couple of angle shots for you, followed by another before and after here shortly. And I've got to say, that's pretty impressive. It changes the whole look of the car. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit the like and subscribe button to support the channel. See you next week.